This is Naina Curley reporting for WAMDA. I'm here with Ahmad Abdul Wahab, the head of the Entrepreneurship Center at KAUST, the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. Ahmad, how are you? I'm doing great, alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. I'll be doing fine too. Alhamdulillah, I am. We are here at the um, fifth annual MIT Entrepreneurship Workshop. And I just wanted to chat about what's new at KAUST. What are you doing to create a culture of entrepreneurship in Saudi or encourage the entrepreneurship that exists? Yeah. Um, the best way what we realize to really create entrepreneurship culture is um, by empowering entrepreneurs to do what they can do best, which is starting up businesses. So um, to do so, we have set up the Entrepreneurship Center seven months ago that really follows the uh, entrepreneurship uh, or startup life cycle of an entrepreneur, which means that we start first with some startup sessions in order to generate the best ideas. And uh, out of these best ideas, they move up to the next program is what we call the Venture Lab which is a three months or sometimes two months. This term is um, the spring term, which is two months. Last, month, last, term, last year we had uh, the fall term, which was three months. So in this one term, we are taking the best ideas and turn them into reality, which means that uh, in Venture Lab, we have the objective of, number one, um, helping entrepreneurs to develop a prototype, how ugly as it is, but it's something that works and it functions. Number two, verifying with customers that this is a need to have solution and not just a nice to have. And number three, develop a uh, basic business plan uh, in order to pitch it to real investors. And this happens in one term. Um, to do so, we provide them a uh, one hour lecture every uh, week and in two to three hours practical work where they really can focus on developing going to customers. Um, by the end of the day, they pitch it to real investors and the best um, project ideas are then moved um, to the seed fund. Uh, and within seed fund, we help them to uh, we help them and coach them in order to make them ready for venture fund. And the last program um, what we have is the speaker series, where we uh, where we invite regional and international speakers in entrepreneurship and, bus and, and in business to really inspire the community, to inspire the community that they, that they, to create them and get their inner entrepreneur uh, out. Great, so essentially you're a bit of a seed stage, idea stage, accelerator and incubator, and then one part venture capital fund, and then one part mentoring services. Would you say that's accurate? Um, yeah, let's say um, in the beginning, Chaos itself is a startup university, and we in the entrepreneurship set up in a very early stage. So the focus right now is really generating ideas and turning these ideas into some startup opportunities. And with uh, right, time goes by, with more coaching and teaching and uh, course that we provide, uh, we're moving the entrepreneurs really up the value chain. Do all the ideas survive? No. Our objective is um, two things. Number one, providing real life experience for these participants, which could be students, faculty, researchers, staff members. Uh, and the second objective, creating businesses. So in other words, uh, not everybody can be an entrepreneur, but what we do is provide real life experience. So uh, when the graduates, the, um, for example, the master students or the PhD students, when they graduate, they just don't have a master student in computer science, for example, or a PhD in computer science, but they have real life experience. So when they go out and apply for jobs, they will get much better jobs with this additional real life experience that we provide. Others take the next step and really create your uh, create the startup businesses. Are you also offering sort of a safety net in a sense, um, given the bankruptcy laws in Saudi Arabia? You know, it's difficult for people to start a company and get nervous about spending all of their capital. Do you aim to provide that safety net? So, we, we at Kaus, we cannot change the legal system, but we are in the process right now in order to facilitate, to make all the uh, barriers that exist for entrepreneurs, such as the bankruptcy law, etc., um, and really helping helping to find the right solutions, uh, find the right solutions. And um, this will take some time, but we are working on it as well, absolutely. And what kind of ideas have you seen come through the program so far? What kind of businesses are you aiming to start? So we. Um, 
it's a very interesting question. We have some of entrepreneurs focusing on um, the, uh, developing the next generation e-learning intelligence platform, in other words, the next generation Blackboard. Or another one is um, developed an interesting way of really cleaning the solar panels, which is a big, big issue um, in the Middle East or in general in very hard areas. Um, others are in mobile payment. Uh, I would say mobile payment. So we really focus on on on, on, on innovative um, ideas that really solve big, big problems. But we are not as a dictating to entrepreneurs what they should do. We let the entrepreneurs to figure out uh, what are the best, what are the key issues that they're facing, and really developing um, problems, uh, develop the solutions to solve these problems. And is this only open to students or entrepreneurs in the broader? Um, and, and, and for us, the, the moment they come into the entrepreneurship center, they're entrepreneurs. They are not faculty or students or research or, stu uh, or staff member. Anybody can apply. Anybody is uh, a part of it. We have um, the activities that we run in the speaker series, in the startups, etc. Um, in the last seven months, we had more than 10,000 uh, participants into the different activities that were what we do. Uh, and they are from different backgrounds, some students, some faculty, some researchers, cost, non-cost people. Um, so anybody who's really interested in, uh, in making a difference. Great. Well, thanks for chatting with Wamda and telling us about this. You're very welcome. My pleasure.